there's something else that I need to tell you about and I've given you a lot of hints uh, I mean just just a few hints uh, can you see it do you see it how about right there hello ladies and gentlemen this is soap the great and I'm playing on the two crafty server how's everyone doing I hope you are doing well I certainly am so we are headed over to the potion shop because there has been some recent interest in the commercial district so that's probably because people want to purchase potion supplies or at least that's what I'm hoping and We'll see if that is indeed the case. And while we're over here, let me just chat to you about a couple things. First, we've got a subreddit for Too Crafty. I'm not sure if you knew about that, but if you have not taken a look at that, just check the description box below. I will include a link there. And what we've been doing is just trying to keep all the videos going on there. And it's kind of lonely. So if you've got some suggestions, some discussion that you would like to generate, feel free to pop on over there and check it out. We would love to hear from you. So here we are. We're at the potion shop. There are no other shops out here. So the interest must be because people want to purchase things. So we'll check that real quick. There's something else that I need to tell you about. And I've given you a lot of hints. Uh, I mean, just just a few hints. Uh, can you see it? Do you see it? How about right there? Yep, that's right. I am running on fancy graphics, maximum smooth lighting, a decent render distance. I don't want to go all out on that. And mip map on, yeah, clouds on. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am recording this on my new PC. Yep. And I'm going to put the specs in the about box for the channel so you can take a look at that, but I am very excited about it. So uh, let's see, this episode will be recorded in its entirety on the new PC. The next few, I've got footage from the previous one. Oh, I've got chicken. Well, chicken will work. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who did that. Let's see. Redstone's still there. Oh, just a little bit of glowstone. Look. Did I refill that? I mean, I'd have refilled that. Oh, somebody wants spider eyes. That is amazing. Well, I got chicken. So thank you very much to whomever did that. I'm still looking for some clay balls. So if you want to get some clay balls, that'd be great. But that is it. So just a few sales and I'll need to bring some more glowstone over and we'll get that going but yeah I'm on a new PC this episode will be all the way recorded on the new PC and rendered and all of that but for now we're gonna head back to my base because I've got a couple of things I would like to show you that I have done over there so I am gonna spare you the travel distance and we'll head on over there alright see you in a bit all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and up here on the automation platform. So the first thing that I would like to show you, you're already seeing some of what I'm going to show you, is this little contraption right here. If you've been watching my channel for some time, and let's just turn these guys down. They are loud, friendly creatures down. We'll keep the unfriendly creatures up just in case I just want to hear them. So. If you've been watching my channel for some time, you will know about this little contraption here. This is a no-climb cow farm, and you just come in, you breed them up, and then you hit the other button on the other side. I'm not going to do that because I don't need them right now. I just did a little bit of a breed job on them. You hit that button right there, and that cooks them, and you get leather and raw beef out of it. It doesn't cook them. Uh, Kondrick and I are going to be taking a look at that, trying to figure that one out. But uh, if you've got some ideas for that, that would be great. So, yeah, I found myself in need of the leather for the item frames that are in 
the potion shop. And I figured, you know what, I might as well just bite the bullet and get some cows up here. And there we go. So the other thing is you will notice a little control panel right here. This one right here doesn't work. If you look back, nothing, nothing right there. Nope. Um, sorry about that. This does work, however. This is to control the mob farm that I have built up top. Yeah, and that's a big change from last time. I've done this completely off camera, and I was just going to show you when it was all done. And it is similar to a design that I did on my single player world. Similar, there are a few changes. First and foremost, let me let me see if I can pop down here. So on my single player world, I just used a bunch of hoppers because I had an iron farm available. Here I'm using two hopper mine carts and they go back and forth and there's an auto item retrieval system over there and fall down. And that sends them back on their way once it's emptied everything out. But the neat thing about this mob farm is that it gives me ender pearls and string. Unlike most general mob farms, they usually just get the two high mobs. And I needed some ender pearls because the enderman farm isn't quite ready. You're still working on that, trying to figure out everything for that. So I needed some ender pearls. You saw the use of those last time, and that helped out with catching that witch but let's take a look up here hopefully we don't get surprised that switch down at the bottom that not only makes the minecart start going it comes up through this torch tower and when the farm is off these lights are on so that the spawning platform is non spawnable so the light levels are all nine or above or eight or above I can't remember it's more it should be more than enough to keep the mobs from spawning and then it also that switch also unlocks this hopper timer and it's in the other hopper let's see if we can take a look at that I've got eight items in there and items transfer at the rate of two and a half per second so I probably could deal with an extra two so maybe a full what is that four seconds and what that does is we get a signal off of that torch which I turn into a pulse with this hopper dropper pulse pulse emitter it's a rising edge detector fairly quiet and then I lengthen the pulse by three and that pulls up this piston sticky piston and it's kinda hard to see this it pulls up this piston which allows the shifting mechanism to occur and I hope I don't run into any issues but let's pop down here and take a look at the shifting mechanism if I do happen to accidentally trigger the thing then I will fall to my demise down below but what happens is there are pistons all along the all along the wall right there and over here and then this shift this floor shifts back and forth moving that redstone block in place here or over here okay so currently the signal is cut off so we are powering that piece of redstone dust but because that piston is extended that redstone signal is not going to come up and go into this line of pistons back here so once this piston retracts then the signal goes all the way out and then this redstone block signal goes all the way to these pistons which shifts the floor and that shifts this thing over here and you get a little bit of a cycle now I don't have that turned on right now because when I'm up here we get a bunch of lag yep pistons shifting who knew that it would create a bunch of lag but that is what I've got here and it's a little bit different from the one in my single player I've only got one spawn floor and that's perfectly sufficient for my needs at the moment so um, I am looking at doing a showcase video and if you'd like a tutorial on it um, you'll have to beg a lot because it just takes a lot of time to set this thing up and doing it once versus doing it on camera as well it's a lot of effort but hey if you think it would be useful to have a tutorial then just let me know once the showcase video comes out but, but yeah there we go so I've got a little mob farm up here and so while I'm fishing up here We've got the witch farm going on down below. 
And then we've got the mob farm above, and there's not too many spaces that are actually spawnable. So we should be good. Now I just heard, did I hear a zombie? I don't know if I heard a zombie. Maybe I'm just hearing things. We shouldn't have a zombie. We've got that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I heard one, maybe not. So that is it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the mob farm and about this thing. And do check out the Two Crafty subreddit. We'd love to hear from you. And let us know anything you'd like to see on the server. Any collabs or any projects, server-wide server projects, do let me know. Or actually let the whole server know there on, on the subreddit. But that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.